Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful is my Savior. Wonderful is my Redeemer. You are worthy of our praise. Worthy, worthy Lord. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wonderful is my Savior. Wonderful is my Redeemer. You are worthy of our praise. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. So my beloved brethren, once again, welcome at the Happy Word, where every heart is ignited with a fresh passion. I believe God is about to do a new thing in your life. So welcome once again at the Happy Word Bible Study. I want you all to prepare your heart as we're about to hear God's Word. I believe He's going to meet us in the point of our needs. Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you for all what you've done in our life. Thank you for our friends and well wishes. Thank you for the body of Christ. Thank you for all you've done and what you're about to do. Father, we're about to hear your words. Speak to us in the language that we understand. We decrease that you increase in us. <coughs> manifest your strength. Manifest your power through us. Lord, manifest, manifest, manifest your glory. Manifest your love through us, Lord. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. As your word is about to comfort, Father, let it comfort to transform us. Make us to be who you want us to be. Let chains be broken. Let the weak one be strengthened. And Father, we thank you for the signs and wonders. We accompany us in this ministration. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much <coughs> for tuning in. So today is going to be very snappy. So if you have your Bible, I want you to go with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my friends and well wishes. Thank you. If you have your Bible, I want you to go with me in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 18. I read from verse 18. And he says, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever ye lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, That if two of you shall agree on earth, as touching anything that they shall ask, and it shall be done. For them of my father which is in heaven for where two or three are gathered together in my name there i am in the midst of them <clears throat> hallelujah somebody thank you great man of god christopher and all my viewers all around the world so this is what god is trying to encourage us to put us in remembrance he said we should know as the soldiers of christ as believers that god has given us the power he said to them that believe, he gave them the power to become the sons and the daughters of God. And he says that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. So God is encouraging us just to make us understand the power, the power of agreement. He said whatever you are to, whatever, what is that thing you are believing God for? You need a partner, you need somebody that will agree with you. In prayer, your battle is not just for you. I know at times the church folks tells us that our battle is just for us, and no, you have to in invite some people that will help you in prayer life, in spiritual life. That's what the Bible says do not despise the days of little beginning, do not despise the guardian of the saints. God knows there is power in the multitude, there is power whenever two or three agree. So, this is what God is putting us in remembrance today that whatever we bind on earth don't forget whatever you are going through he said whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven what actually is in our life or in our nation that needs to be banned and some of us we are busy waiting for god to ban it no you are god you are the representative of christ we are supposed to bind and god will bring his word to he will confirm his word hallelujah somebody and the verse says, whatever two or three agree, it shall be established. So how many of us are ready to agree with me in this prayer today? Now God will turn things around for us. God will move those chains. Though God will, 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 will uplift us, will, pro, will, will promote us, 
we meet us in the point of our needs or if any sick bed yes i'm here to agree with you hallelujah somebody father we thank you once again after you have spoken your word father be it unto us according to your word thank you for giving us the the ear to hear Thank you for giving us the heart of understanding. Thank you to all my viewers all around the world. Thank you for reminding us today that you have given us the power, the power that raised Christ from the dead is at work in us. You have made us to understand whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Father, we take authority in your word. We bind every principalities and power, every works of darkness, every knowledge raising up against the knowledge of God upon our destiny, upon our family. We bind them, we cast them out. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the Bible said that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. It is written, whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I lose every chains of darkness, every shackles of life, against us, against our family. I lose those chains right now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says wherever the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. I believe the Spirit of God is at work in us. I declare liberty in the life of everyone and the sound of my voice in whatever, whatever area in your life you have been bound, I set you loose right now. Hey, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have been set free. You have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Hey, my Father, we thank you for the victory we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the freedom we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the prayer answered. We worship you. We bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. So thank you once again to all my viewers all around the world. I'm so honored to have you all. So you all remember what the, ver the verse we read, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. God says, remember, in this season, we are, we are meant to exercise the authority of believers. You have to exercise your authority. What is it in your life you don't like? God said, bind it. Whatever you bind shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. So enough of complaining. Enough of, you know, getting depressed. God said, you got to bind it. What is it in your family genealogy? Is it, does it run through your family bloodline? You have to bind it because your parents did not bind it. You are not meant to carry it over to the next generation. You are the Joshua of a generation to stand in the gap. Ha! Man, sing, and speak to that mountain. Be that move and it shall be moved. So thank you all so much. And may God bless you all. And, um, Using this very opportunity also to let us know my forthcoming movie entitled Backfire. So, you know, we just, you know, we just finish it up. So just, you know, you know, should stay tuned, you know. So, you know, what God has in store for us, eyes have not seen. Neither has it entered into the heart of men. As so many of us might be curious, oh, Minister Augustine, why are you in the movie production? Yes, I want to, I want to... I want to impart my generation. So another form of imparting is by producing movie so that you can teach our generation, you know, what it is to love God and ethics, you know, because most of the youth now have forgotten the normal ethics. So we want to go back to the foundation. So that's the reason. So why we establish heartbeat word, multi-media concept, movie project. Hallelujah. So that we can... People all around the world can watch our movie, you know. So what do you think if we as believers act our movie so that people can see, you know. So we got the Holy Ghost, we got the power, we got the anointing, so we got to come out. Hallelujah, somebody. So you all should be, you know, expecting my movie is going to be number one in the whole world. So thank you all so much as many that has been supporting me in these, uh, my dreams and my vision. You know, so as you all do, whatever you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. So I want to encourage everyone at the sound of my voice. There is greatness on the inside of you. I don't care how you, whatever happens to you or whatever trials, there is greatness. No matter whatever means that you find yourself here on the, on, on the planet Earth, I'm here to let you know because you have the life of God in you. There is a greatness in you. And our generation is waiting for you. There's so many people that went to the grave with their dreams, with their vision, writing books, writing movies. They went with it in the grave. So we are the generation, we are the remnant. We don't want to take our talent to the, to the grave. We want to exploit them. So that is why 
Minister Augustine is also in the movie production. I just want to explore whatever God have on the inside of me. I do not know. And I want to also use this opportunity to thank my bishop, Bishop T.D. Jakes. He's a very wonderful bishop that has been helping us, you know, to discover what we have on the inside. You know, I'm so honored. He has been the one firing me up. So we may God bless him, bless the family, bless the Patasas family. Hallelujah. But I want to encourage to all youth all around the world. This is the time. Our generation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. They are waiting for you. The wait is over. What, your miracle is in your hand. To me, I believe my miracle is in my hand. And that is why I, that is, you know, I believe in producing results. So a movie is coming out. I have to use what is in my hand. The Bible says the gift of a man makes a way. Use your gifting. Hallelujah. Your gifting is not in Horeb. It's not in Israel. That you'll be asking, how do I go to Israel? How do I? No. It's in your hand. Use what is in your hand. And your gift, your miracle is tied in what is in your hand. What you got left. Use it. Execute it. And it will make a way for you. So remember. God said, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And he said, whatever two or three agree on earth shall be established. So in this season, learn how. Remember, the society have taught us so much about being independent. But in the Christian dumb, you have to collaborate with your fellow believers. Yes, that's a strategy of the enemy to waste life when you've been isolated for so long. No, you have to associate. The Bible says, do not despise the garden of the saints. Get one or two people to agree with you, whatever be a prayer or a need that you need. And it shall be done. That's what the Bible says. So these are teaching tonight. And may God bless you all. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Cheers. I love you all.